As you probably already know, GEO has teamed up with the U.S. Energy Department and their national laboratory at Argonne. The U.S. Department of Energy has released a new request for information, RFI, on the scale-up and demonstration of renewable fuels. The RFI, titled Overcoming Barriers to Renewable Fuel Scale-Up and Demonstration, seeks input from biofuels producers and technology developers about their readiness to scale process technologies to pilot and demonstration scale, sustainable aviation fuel, renewable diesel, and renewable marine fuels. The RFI also seeks input on how the first-generation ethanol and other existing industries could be leveraged to provide low-cost feedstock and infrastructure for biofuel production, including information on practices that can reduce the carbon intensity of corn production. So this seems really related to GEVO. They're talking about ethanol, they're talking about corn. The idea with ADM is that they have 900 million gallons of capacity that they'd like to turn into SAF. The idea is to do this in a joint venture. So that'd be a combination of us with them and a strategic partner and financial partners is what we're gonna do because that's actually a pretty big project when you take those ethanol plants and transform them. So we're busy working on that too. And we've actually begun the engineering on that. Argonne Greet, you know, they did they did go ahead and do the modeling. They did already submit it to the, uh, their, their, the Beto, is the, Beto is the organization inside of the DOE, which looks at this stuff. So that's the bosses of Argonne. And they already submitted it and looked good. Matches up with what we had, so that's good. And they also have ideas on how to go better and stuff on what to do. And uh, they'll eventually publish it, but they got to go through their channels. But the results are good. We already have them. And I think it'll be head turned. Inside the, inside the government, people already have the information. But they have to go through the normal channels to publish it, or, which requires peer review and government bureaucracy stuff. The RFI also seeks information on how DOA can best assist biofuels production stakeholders in their research and development and scaling up their technologies through demonstration scale. Feedback is requested from industry, academia, research laboratories, government agencies and other stakeholders. Specifically, the RFI has six categories in which DOE is interested in receiving information and input. Biofuel pathway scale-up forecasts, barriers to scale-up SAF marine and renewable diesel technologies, leveraging first-generation ethanol and other incumbent industries, information on technology improvements that could enhance low-carbon fuel production, Beto scale-up and biotechnology strategy, input on Beto strategy and other forms of financial assistance to support biofuel scale-up and commercialization. Leveraging National Laboratory Process Development Unit to scale up renewable fuels. Insight on how DOE's National Laboratory's capabilities can support biofuel scale up and commercializations. So this is basically saying how can Argon support GEVO to scale up and commercialize. Feedstock production and supply. Information on sustainable corn farming practices and challenges in establishing robust biomass feedstock supply chains. Sustainable corn farming practices? Are you kidding me? Are they talking about GEVO or what? I mean, connect the dots here, people. If DOE and Beto got the great results already, I believe they're so excited what GEVO has going on. It's pretty cool because they're actually capturing carbon, taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. What we need to do is work with farmers to leverage that system because it's probably the biggest system we have of all that can help to solve a greenhouse gas problem. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you're thirsty for more GEVO related due diligence, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I make these videos just to inform and entertain, and you should not consider them as any kind of financial advice. That's all I have for now. Until next time, bye bye.